Hello and welcome to a new thing called the Super Flat Challenge. It's not actually, I don't know how new. Uh, but basically, I have to survive in a super flat world. I have added two data packs and already I've got a pretty good spawn. So I jump on the world, I hop in. Uh, this is a time lapsed version with a few editing pieces of it with me just voicing over. So to start off, I'm going to grab wood, of course, attack a slime. There are so many slimes in a super flat world. So I start off killing slimes. This is at the point where I realize it's going to be counterproductive to just keep on attacking slimes. So quickly run off. I grab torches and wool because I'm still not used to the fact that villagers have beds and just because i'm still thinking oh i need to set up a base with torches this is not true i'm going to find a village to set up a base um as you can see i am collecting the result i've got pickaxe starting off thing for everything that's me collecting more because i'm thinking like a survival player when i should be thinking like a super flat survival play. This is very different, believe me. This is me voicing over at the end, and I do change my style a lot. So, I start off, raid the village. Of course, you always want to raid the village. Go from house to house, you get food, pretty much. That's the only thing in village chests, but at the moment, that's pretty useful for my plight seeing as i am going to be going from village to village until i have decided that it's a good idea to set up base um i still am not used to all of the different village things and i am still not used to the fact that every village spawns with trees and i'm at the moment just believing that it's good luck that i found one with trees and so trying to get as much wood as possible I am um, go along there was a moment you don't know this but there was a moment where I paused and I thought should I attack the iron golem it's a few pieces of iron but that could be a lot this I add I've added in a data pack uh, two actually tree capitator and one which I've written a recipe one to help with ease of getting better things so I uh, that's not been implemented at the moment, not even created. This was just me getting used to it, just hopping in the world, uh, seeing what was going on, which is why when I broke the trees with the axe, they didn't break. So I continue on, we cut, to when I found another village. I did eat quite a bit of food. Actually, I can't remember. I can't remember how close together they were, but they were reasonably close. I come in, do the same thing, raid the bear, the, um... I steal all of the stuff, yeah, raid the village, get attacked by slimes. I'm panicking at this moment because if I die, then I lose all of my progress and have to start again. Because I don't have the coordinates of where I am, I didn't remember which direction I headed. Many things like that, it would have just been very painful for me if I had lost if I had died and uh, lost this progress, because at the moment I was stressing out and just trying to think, what do I need? What do I need? Ah, uh, my inventory is going to be full. Oh, shit, shit, shit. And then, of course, I get attacked by a skeleton. I get low on health. I don't have any armor or items. As you can see, I've run out of inventory space. I have to decide on what I want to keep and what I want to uh, leave behind. And I chuck some stuff away, make, in my opinion now, thinking back, some pretty poor decisions, and then keep on going. Collecting seeds and things because I'm thinking in a very different mindset. Um, so, I have quite a few jump scares and things, and I am pretty much constantly terrified because, uh, yeah, I keep on getting attacked, and I don't want to die and lose it all. 
as you can see, I'm making some pretty poor decisions. A bed, a, a cartography table over bed is not good. I should have left the cartography table, but this is after I've recorded quite a bit. A few hours of footage, actually, which I've had to cut and condense down into this. So, I'm thinking, each time I visit a new village, I'm thinking, should I set up my base or should I keep on going? I decide to keep on going, we cut to a new one. This is actually a pretty good village. I'm thinking, should I stay here? I collect the resources, because regardless of whether or not I'm saying, I want those things. And, god damn it. Books are going to be really important, because it's going to be hard to get leather from cows. Um, I don't know why, but in my whole time, I did not see a... Uh, I have not seen a single cow, only slimes. I believe that that may be due to the fact that slime chunks, uh, slimes spawn on this level, Y4, and... They take up all of the daytime spawn rates, and when it becomes night, other mobs take up all the spawn rates. I rarely ever see... Oh, look at that. Six obsidian. Pretty good. So I have yet to... <laughs> look at me. Obsidian! I'm so excited. So, uh, I want to get to the nether, because lava buckets will be pretty useful, especially for the data pack, which I've added in. Uh, stone cutters are also useful. And this is me just panicking, thinking, what should I keep? Attacking a villager, because I don't even know why. I just wanted to watch the villager cry. Because I'm a sadistic bastard. There! There was a cow. I could have killed it. Could have got leather. But I wasn't thinking about long term. Because enchanting tables with full enchantment level possibilities are going to be so useful there i i'm still pretty amazed with what i got iron three helmets i believe i didn't i didn't chuck out my wooden pickaxe i should have but i continue on eat take that thing get attacked by a slime panic uh grab the furnaces which is a very smart idea then get attacked by more slime night is falling at this point and I'm panicking. Should I stay? And I stay. My respawn point has been set, which, uh, if I die, means that I'll still be definitely closer to uh, where I did die. I collect more stuff. That's enough obsidian to make a um, portal at this point, and that's pretty good. Saddles will be useful. Because believe me, horses are going to be very important. This is me just trying to sort out my inventory, making some very poor decisions on what I should and shouldn't keep. Um, bells are not useful past me. This is this is not only uh, me doing a playthrough of this, but also my guide to you. Don't. And I mean, don't waste effort on bells. Trust me. So another village, <coughs> more raiding, I decide to place back the blast furnace, because at this point I'm thinking maybe I should stay here. There, I got a, I've got full iron armor, I used a diamond horse armor, that's pretty good. Um, tips, if you're going to set up a base in a village... It does not matter about keeping saplings. Every plains village, as of 1.14, has trees. And they will drop saplings. You should not fill up inventory space with slime balls, with saplings, with any type of seeds. Except for carrots and potatoes, because those can be edible. This At this point, I decided to set up a base here. Um, this is going to be a temporary base, as I will tell you. My plans for this is to clear out the entire village. So take it down to bedrock level. Destroy all of the stuff in quite a few chunks area. And... Then set up a huge amount of farms and spawn proof that whole area. 
But uh, first, I am just thinking of what should I do? Uh, how should I save my resources? All of that. And now I decide to uh, store all of my stuff because I have a saddle and horse and horse armor. And I'm thinking that it would be a good idea to go and do some more exploring and this be my base. So this is just me chucking all of my stuff in a chest. It's quite tedious. I can understand that, but deal with it because ain't nobody cares. I then get attacked by a slime, take them out. Slimes can actually be really stupid. That's such a big nuisance and they're really hard to put up with and especially when you're destroying a village trust me this is me recording after this is me setting up an area since it's all going to be on the bedrock floor i want to have a my portal already ready there now um here's a fun little thing you'll notice that i've just fucked this up okay so then the skeleton attacks me, I'm really not having a good day at this point. Yep, I fucked up. I really did fuck up. And I'm actually really pissed at this point. Um I'm not kidding, I was actually really annoyed. <laughs> I um yeah, this is fun. So I'll notice that I saw a pig walk by. And, uh, that's pretty much it. All that I can ever find in a super flat world are pigs. No cows, no sheep, unless if they're in those, uh, areas which spawn in with villagers where there are animals. Of course, I go to sleep. Yay! Sleep time! How exciting! I'm sorting all of my stuff, because this time I'm actually going to go for a bit of an exploration and this time i'm going to take along with me a fun little horse so not all villagers have horses some do in the uh, farm area where animals will spawn sometimes horses spawn there as well and i'm really betting on this happening and i'm looking for that area and then i notice that there a horse there's a small chance uh not a small chance i don't know it's like a 50 percent chance of a horse spawning i'm feeling so amazing i've i'm so good at this iron jesus is on my side and all that all that shit so i befriend the horse i jump on the horse and off we go on a magical journey i attack slimes many many slimes i check my coordinates this is me writing them down i didn't have a pencil i was finding a pencil and uh, then off we go here i am zooming into this next village it's actually really close by it decided to keep my horse in a good place in a safe place this is um smart and i uh, should have been doing this the whole time but anyway i have uh collecting all of the stuff and now i can safely just grab everything it doesn't matter because now I don't have to deal with the fact that, oh, I won't have anywhere to place this. So, of course, I come across in this village two of these things which take up the most space. Now, at this point, I'm cursing myself for forgetting an axe. But I'm too lazy to grab another one. So, off we go. Continuing on, each time I see an iron golem, I have to fight the urge not to kill it. Except, of course, in this case, where I'm slain by an island iron golem because I was attacking slimes and swords have sweeping edge. So I run back, try and grab all of my stuff, and then I get really annoyed. And you want to know why I get really annoyed? Just look. Can you see those 48 pieces of bread which I had? Villagers pick up items like seeds and wheat and things yeah there's me panicking my bread i'm thinking something's happened no a villager picked it up that is something which happens villagers pick up things like bread and other trades they don't give you anything for it they just pick up the bread i didn't know that at the time 
I was panicking. I was really annoyed. I was just, yeah. So that's my story. I was annoyed. Now, I don't actually know if it's possible to get bees or anything in super flats. So, as of yet, I haven't uh, added in anything to the data packs which I've made for it, but I also have to find out that. So, I'm gonna look it up. You can comment down in the description if you want to. Oh, uh, you can get bees if you're lucky by doing this or something, but at the moment, I don't believe you can. So, I get back on my horse. And I decide to keep on exploring. I get attacked because it's night time. And I keep on exploring. Then I chuck my horse in there. Then I get off. And then I go and sleep. And there are no monsters. And there are monsters nearby. That's fun. So in this new village, I'm grabbing stuff at night time. With a horde of zombies chasing me. Not fun, to say the least. Finally, I manage to sleep. I wake up. All is good. The day is wonderful. Yay! I notice that this one has a blacksmith. I am so happy. I was expecting obsidian or diamonds. Sadly, I got neither of those. But that's not too important. It doesn't really matter. I do, however, get two buckets. And that's useful because now I can get two pieces of of lava rather than just one and now I can be happy because now I should theoretically have enough to make an enchanting table and a nether portal and so I'm happy of course I first need to get diamonds but where am I gonna get diamonds from a blacksmith I have yet to come across a blacksmith with diamonds I'm annoyed, but hey, you can't always have everything, so I'm trying to remember which direction I came from, and then I end up back at my village, I place down the lava, run away from slimes, because welcome to super flat. Now, you see, the thing is that with one lava bucket I would have had enough for another pool and an enchanting table, but here's the thing, I wanted one more for a cobblestone generator. I am playing this now like a skyblock player. That is how I should have been playing it. Mostly. Certain things like cobblestone will be very useful, especially with my data pack. You can download this data pack. I'll leave a link down in the description of the next video. This is me um, doing the chunk setting up because I've decided to cut it into chunks and these chunks I'm all going to decimate. Just going to remove all of it. Now, of course, there's lots of slimes. This is where my main hatred of slimes comes from. Because in digging all of this, and believe me, I dug a lot. This is me recording after the next episode as well, where I dug too much. And I mean too much. Things wouldn't render in from one distance to the other. You could be standing even just half in between, uh, half way in between them, and the chunk in the very middle, and you would not be able to fully render in everything on the edges. I dug a lot. Too much. And so I make lots of shovels. That is four shovels. I think, oh, four shovels is going to be enough for me to dig all of this. That's not going to be enough. So I've been killed by a slime. I realize my home bed was missing or obstructed. I chuck on my lovely and delightful F3s, pull out the piece of paper with the coordinates and run there. I was meant to edit this out, but I'm too lazy. So, here we go. I continue on. You can see the pain and struggle I went through, and the fact that I didn't teleport, I didn't cheat, I didn't do anything. I went there. Um, and you can see that I'm nearing it, and I'm like, yay.
I finally reached it. I do believe that I actually edited some of it. And then I go, oh, I can't sleep. There are monsters nearby. And so I get really pissed. And then I don't pick up all of my stuff. Because, hey, when you're being attacked by 700 creatures, you probably won't take the time to pick up every single last piece of it. Of course, then I come back and realize that it was only slime balls. And slime balls are useless. They're only useful for slime box, slime blocks and sticky pistons, as far as I can tell. And those two things are only rarely important or useful. So I chuck on chunk borders and I get on to my mining. I'm going along and I'm trying to not die or get blown up by a creeper. You can see the little creeper in the corner. Yeah. It's coming near me. I don't see it. It blows up. That one blows up. As you can tell, I'm not really having the best of days. So, creeper holes, I actually realise, are really useful. So, the creeper didn't actually fuck up my entire plan, but instead helped it, because upon this, I realised, oh, as long as I can get the creepers to explode further from where I want the border to be, because I want to have a cobblestone wall or something like that between me and the other creatures so that uh, there will be nothing spawning in that area and no creatures can get in so it will be an entirely spawn free place which means that I'll be able to have some delightful mob spawner which gives me a lot of stuff thinking like a skyblock player with a mob spawner however I will want a mob spawner. More on that later. So anyway, I continue on. I'm not having a blast. This is it. This is just me mining for three minutes straight, pretty much. So, it was not fun. Trust me, do not do this at home. Do not put yourself through this. You don't need to mine this much stuff. You don't need to set up something like this. Don't do it. So, a YouTuber. I might leave a link in the description to this video, if I remember. But, this YouTuber posted a video of Can You Survive? in Superfly. This is where I got the idea for the Superflat challenge from. And they said you can survive, but you can't thrive, in that you can't get a lot of mini resources like diamonds and things without exploring for a fuckload of time. Too much time. Just going on and exploring for ages, and even then you might not even have enough diamond armor. So, in my data pack, you have the ability of turning cobblestone into iron. I told you that cobblestone would be useful. Iron into gold. Gold into it's either lapis or redstone, and then it's either lapis or redstone into either redstone or lapis. I can't remember those ones. And then obsidian into diamond. Then you can make... Uh, then there are a few different recipes for dyes, because at this point, I want a nice dyed glass floor for my area. Believe me, when you see the next video, and you'll understand my pain and suffering, don't do this, but if you truly want to, I will push up the seed right now. In fact, no, I won't put it up now. I'll put it in the description of the video, because then you can just copy and paste it, rather than having to type it in. Because, believe me, um, our generation, uh, internet generation, we're lazy as fuck. I can understand. So I'll leave the seed down in the description. I'll leave the coordinates, or you could just look at the coordinates area. And I'll leave the coordinates of what I mined. So you can go to this village, and you can in survival, mine it all, 
if you truly want to. So here I am. I'm panicking. I'm being attacked. Now, see, even though I have a beard, I don't want to die. Because I've played, I have played. played a bit of Superflat before recording this video. And if you die, it's horrible because there are so many zombies and so many slimes and so many creepers and so many skeletons and so many everything so many everything it's painful it's horrible and you don't want to have to put up with that shit trust me it is pretty much hardcore at night because if you die you have to wait until the morning to even have a chance of getting your items back. Look, there's a creeper. Now this is where I'm smart. And I use the creeper to blow up a hole. Creepers became very useful in my mining of this. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and murder that bell for more notifications slash jwop. Pom!